Hi friends, uh, today we will be uh, talking about how torque multiplication is happening. Uh, the working of torque converter has already been explained uh, in my last video torque converter in Tectrix info channel in YouTube. This is the continuation of that video. So when does torque multiplication happens? Uh, torque multiplication only happens when the speed of the turbine of the torque converter is lesser than the speed of the impeller. Okay, when does uh, this occur? In normal running of a vehicle, uh, when the smooth running happens, the speed of the impeller will be normally equal to the speed of the turbine. Uh, but when the vehicle starts, what happens? The engine RPM will be reflected on the impeller. So that means the engine RPM will be the same as that of the impeller. But the turbine RPM will not be that much because uh, it will slowly only increase the RPM. As, as, at that point of time, torque multiplication happens. And also uh, when the vehicle is running in a normal speed and when we apply a brake the turbine comes to a stop because the shaft connected uh, through the uh, shutter reverse of the gearbox towards the tires comes to a stop so turbine stops so when turbine stops that time also torque multiplication is happening so whenever the turbine speed is lesser than the impeller speed that means that point a torque multiplication is happening now let's see how torque multiplication happens uh, when the uh, impeller is rotating, oil as you know, it slunks from the casing portion and it comes and hits the turbine over here and it rotates and it again redirected through the stator to the impeller. So when the turbine RPM is less, the velocity of the oil coming and hitting the impeller which is redirected will again get added up to the impeller. That means the velocity which will be coming and hitting the turbine from the impeller which will be again redirected to the stator to the impeller gets added up. So in different cycles, this velocity addition will uh, undergo a torque multiplication because velocity gets added up and torque will multiply because the torque holded by the turbine increases uh, because more velocity will be coming from the impeller due to this uh, torque multiplication. And this only happens whenever the turbine speed is lesser than that of the speed uh, of the impeller. And this is an advantage of torque converter because when uh, a vehicle is uh, moving from a stop, when the engine is rotating, maximum torque will be um, stored in the turbine because torque will get multiplied because the turbine will be stopped when the vehicle is stopped. So the torque will get accumulated here on the turbine because of the velocity addition. So when the brake is released, the torque will be released from there. So ultimately, velocity addition results in torque multiplication and think uh, it's clear. Thank you.